It's been a black 24 hours on our roads with major crash officers investigating a fourth fatality. This morning, a 31-year-old cyclist was killed in an alleged hit and run in Welshpool. The wanted driver only caught after crashing his work ute in a nearby suburb. A morning bike ride that ended in tragedy. A 31-year-old man hit by a ute and killed. The driver responsible, nowhere to be seen. It happened on Kudale Road in Welshpool just after 7.30 this morning. Paramedics were called, but by the time they arrived, it was too late. The rider pronounced dead at the scene. Major crash forced a section off several hundred metres of Kudale Road up until mid-afternoon, trying to work out exactly how it happened. Police say the ute collided with the cyclist at the intersection of Dowd Street and Kudale Road. It was another five minutes before they caught up with the driver after he's crashed his car near Row Highway. The wanted driver was captured after his work ute smashed into a light pole near Thornley. It ended up on the other side of the highway. A 38-year-old man was arrested and taken to Armidale Hospital where he underwent drug and alcohol testing. Crashes involving cyclists are on the rise. Last year, 120 cyclists were seriously injured, up 45% on the year before. Ian Anderson lost his son in a cycling crash. 26-year-old Tim Anderson was hit by a drunk driver and killed. There's going to be a lot of people suffering incredibly um, right now. And, uh... My thoughts and sympathy go out, goes out to them. The passionate advocate behind Tim's ride says keeping cyclists safe is everyone's responsibility. People need to share the road and it's got to be a change in attitude. Um, you know, cyclists have every right to be on the road, um, but drivers have to look out for them. The 38-year-old arrested man remains in hospital in a stable condition. Police are yet to lay charges. Scott Cunningham, Nine News.